Hey guys, Mr. Milton here, and today we're going to start our polynomials unit with naming polynomials notes. At the end of this video, you should be able to name polynomials by degree and number of terms. Okay, and you should also be able to put a polynomial in standard form. So, the prefix poly means many. And nomial means name or terms. Okay, so polynomial means many terms. Okay, and so that's what we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be dealing with um, a lot of different, um, we'll say polynomials. And we can tell what a polynomial is. Um, sorry, terms are separated by addition and subtraction. Let's start there. Okay, and so we can tell there's a polynomial when we have, um, well, we can have addition, subtraction, we can have with that as well. So let's look at some examples here. So here's some polynomials. We have x squared plus 4x plus 5, that's a polynomial. We have um, 6y squared, that's a polynomial. Uh, we can even add something to it so it looks better, I don't know. 2x plus 2x, okay, that's a polynomial. Even just the number 6 is a polynomial, okay? So anytime we have any terms, that is a type of polynomial. And now we're going to get into classifying these polynomials, okay? So let's talk, talk about classifying the polynomials here. Um, and look at these four polynomials that we have. 5x plus 2, 6x to the fourth, minus 3x squared, x cubed minus 8, 7x to the sixth plus 4x squared. What do these have in common? Hopefully you see that they have... Um, two terms. Okay, we call polynomials with two terms binomials. Okay, call them bi because of that prefix means two, bicycle, bipolar, um, but binoculars. Okay, looking at the next set of polynomials, what do these polynomials have in common? Well, they have three terms. Okay, and so we call polynomials with three terms trinomials, tricycle, triangle, um, I should come up with the third one, triple, sure. Okay, so tri, oops, I said triangle because I was thinking triangle. It's called trinomial, trinomial, sorry guys, trinomial, I should probably just rewrite that, Try. No meal. Okay. No space in between there. Okay. And what do the following terms have in common here? Hopefully you see that there's no addition and subtraction separating any terms like there were for binomials and trinomials. So there's only one term. And that is called a monomial. Monomial. Monopoly, monogamy. Um, monocle. Mono means one. Okay. All the polynomials in one through three are classified by the number of terms. Okay. So that's one way. We, we actually classify polynomials based off of two things. The number of terms and um, the degree of terms. So here's the second way. Looking at these polynomials, we have x 8x minus 5, 6z, 3 minus 9b, and 2 thirds k. Notice that some of these have one term, some of these have two terms. So, um, but these are called linear because the largest exponent on a monomial is 1. Okay, And so when we're looking at naming these um, or classifying polynomials, um, by degree, that's what we're doing here, we're actually going to be looking at um, each individual monomial and seeing what the highest exponent is. Okay, we'll continue that on this next page. I should not have to edit because I need to find the next page.
Okay, all right. So on to the back here. Um, what do these polynomials have in common? Well, again, you see some have three terms, some have two terms, some have one term, so that's not what's in common. We should see that the highest exponent is a square. So um, these are called quadratic. Because the largest exponent of the variable is 2. Okay, and it has to be on the variable. Okay. Um, ne next, we have a set of polynomials, and these are called cubic because the largest exponent on the variable is 3. And these, finally, with this set, 8, 125, negative 7, 2 fifths, these are called constants. Because the largest exponent on a variable, well, there are no variables, so we'll say the largest exponent on a variable is zero. Okay, all the polynomials in four through seven are classified by degree, which is a polynomial's largest exponent on a variable. Okay, so through these next, we'll be classifying. We're going to name these. Uh, by degree and by number of terms. Okay, so this first one, we're going to name it based off a of degree. We look over and we say, okay, what's the largest exponent by a variable? It's two. Since that's the largest one, we call it a quadratic. Quadratic. Okay, and then the number of terms, there's one, two, three terms, and so a quadratic trinomial. Okay, second example, we have 9x. The degree, one variable, has one, so linear. Number of terms, there's only one term. 9x is the term. So linear monomial. Okay, and then finally we have 11x cubed plus 2x, or 11x squared plus 2x cubed. The degree, there's three, so we call it a cubic. Since there's two terms, we call it a binomial. Cubic binomial. Okay, and so make sure that you're studying those um, terms, making sure that you are able to kind of recall that early, um, easy enough. For the number of terms, monomial, binomial, trinomial, I hope that comes to you easy enough by focusing on the root word, um, linear, Quadratic, cubic, will, and constant will be a little bit more to think about, but definitely manageable. Okay? Alright, so now let's finally talk about a standard form of a polynomial. Um, there is a right way and a wrong way to write a polynomial when you're done with it. And standard form is the right way. To write a, a polynomial in standard form, you write the terms in order from highest exponent to lowest exponent. And that's standard form. You must combine like terms. Okay, so if you have like a, a bunch of x's that have the same degree, you have to add them together. Okay, like terms have the same variable and same um, exponent, but can have different coefficients. Okay, remember coefficient just means the number in front of them. Okay, so it says write each in standard form, then name the polynomial in two ways. I'm going to do the first um, and last one with you. I'm going to have you do number two on your own and bring that to class. Okay, so first writing this in standard form. Remember standard form goes that the highest exponent should go first. This has the highest exponent. It's negative, so I need to make sure I bring the negative sign with me plus 5x squared, okay? So this is standard form, highest exponent to lowest exponent. The names based off a of degree, it's a third degree, so I'm gonna call it cubic. There are two terms, so I call it binomial. Okay, 
remember, I want you to do number two on your own, please. Combine like terms, put it in order, name it based off degrees and terms. All right, let's do number three. Number three, we have 8p cubed. And look, we have an 8p cubed, so we had to combine. We have p and p here, so we've got, got to combine our terms. 8p, 8p goes away. Negative 3, positive 3p cancels each other out. We're left with just 7. Okay, so if we're going to name this, based off a degree, there's no variable, so it's to the zero degree, we call it a constant. And any time it's a constant, it really has to be a monomial, because that means we'll be combining all terms. Okay, all right, so that's naming the polynomials based off a degree and based off the number of terms. Also, um, writing your polynomial in standard form. Okay, make sure you pay some attention to those terms and make sure you think about those and, and uh, spend some time um, putting those to memory. All right, see ya.